Hello everyone and welcome to my Roblox GFX tutorial. To make a Roblox GFX, install Blender and have Roblox Studio. Blender is a very confusing and difficult program, so here are some important shortcuts to help you. N to sidebar view for rigs and shift P to select all. Here is the main UI you need to pay attention to, zoom to zoom, hand icon to move around view, and camera to view camera. You're gonna need a plugin. This is the plugin you'll need, load character light. Before installing, download this Lightroom by AlexGFX. This is personally my favorite. This is a Blender file, so just open it and the lighting is set up for you. If the camera is in a weird spot, this is your time to practice moving around the camera with the UI's controls I just showed you. Make sure to select the camera and then press N and then go to view and make sure camera is fit to view. Now download this rig by Row Builder. Select $0 on the download page. Rigs allow you to freely pose parts smoothly. To install it, you'll have to find the zip file and then go to edit, preferences, and then add-ons and find your starter rig file and select and install it. And you'll see it when you press N and you'll have the starter rig tab. And that's how you know that you installed it correctly. And now your Blender file is looking something like this. Make sure you're on the shading tab and make sure you're on the third rendering setting to not overload your computer. Now onto Roblox Studio. This is the person we're gonna be using today. This is who requested this video. So I did some stalking and I found her account. So I'm gonna go to create, creations, create experience, open up Roblox Studio. Okay, now that you've opened up Roblox Studio, just open up a base plate. You can delete the spawn point. I usually just do that automatically. And you should have already installed the plugin, so go to your plugins and then look for load character and import the username of the person you want to do a GFX for. I'm gonna copy this and put it in and I'm gonna spawn R6. No R15 and no 3D closing can work with this. So now I have our model and I'm gonna go up here on the explorer and then right click and then go to export selection. Now I'm gonna find my folder. Make sure to make a folder for your Roblox GFX and then make a folder for every person that you do because it will get mixed up. Okay, now I saved her and now we don't need to do anything else in Roblox Studio. So I'm gonna exit. Now opening up Blender, I'm gonna go to file, import, and then search for OBJ. So what you need to do is go to import, OBJ, find your your obj and then split by group make sure that's selected now that we have her in we're gonna delete all of her body parts except for her face and her accessories and now we're gonna go back to starter rigs woman rig now i'm gonna select all of her accessories now i'm gonna press ctrl p and i selected object and now i have this as an entire head and i'm gonna delete her face that was underneath this one and select these again and i'm gonna move it up to where her face would be and i'm gonna delete the head of the rig i'm gonna put it down here but now something's off we don't have her clothes or anything so what you want to do is select her body delete the texture open and then go to the folder where she's at and then click that and now we have her clothes so now that you have your roblox character in how do you pose it so you see all of these little things over here this is how it works so go up to here and you see we're in object mode, we wanna be in pose mode. So now we can select the tiny things that we can move. Now up here is how you will move them. Usually I just do rotation and I'm just gonna pose her to how I'd like. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna make her look super happy and I'm gonna change the rotation of her face. I'm sure her bangs are covered on purpose, but I would like to see her face low key, but I guess that looks weird, so. I usually don't mess with the body parts on the torso because it can mess everything up as you can see. Oh lord. <laughs> I usually move the legs to the side because they used the blocky legs so it doesn't have the same vibe. Okay, now we made our pose and to render we're gonna have to go into the camera. So click here to find the camera and I already have like a good spot apparently. But since we already um, went into the camera settings and made sure that our view was turned to camera to view, now we can just move it around. And I want to get her full body in this. So I'll do a render of her far away and then I'll do a render of her close up. And to render, we go to render and render image. And now it's going to render. Okay, now it's done rendering. And this is a mistake that I made and it was very bad. So you have to go to image and you have to save. You have to save it or else it won't save at all. So save it and there you go, you got it. Now I'm going to do a close up 
and for this I'm gonna get out of the camera and I'm gonna pose her differently so she looks up at the camera and to do this I'm gonna have to select her head and everything else and rotate it and I'll give her a different pose for her hands and we'll see how this renders okay so now this close-up image was rendered the close cl the closer you are it takes longer to render i'm not sure why but i'm pretty sure it's because there's more detail and i'm gonna save it and boom that's how you make your roblox render and blender that shit rhymes let's go um, i'm gonna exit out and now i'm gonna go on to photo p this is photoshop on your browser this is what i've been using it is amazing and now first we're just gonna make the icon so youtube profile create now i'm gonna go into my folder and click the close-up one and now we have a PNG of her. And what I recommend is to go on Pinterest, search Roblox, GFX, and you can see um, many different backgrounds and overlays you can use. And I recommend just downloading as much as possible just so you have it on deck. But I'm gonna get some new ones. Okay, now that I got overlays and backgrounds, I'm gonna open up where I downloaded it to. I think I'm just gonna use this background and try to match it to her theme. So I'm gonna go to adjustments, image adjustments, and then go to hue and saturation. And I'm gonna mess with the hue. I think I'll do a purple. And now I'm just gonna stack up on overlays and see how they work. I'm gonna put this star one. And I might put it over her, I'm not sure. I'm gonna uh, like that. And then I'm gonna use this overlay above her and free transform and do that. And then I'm gonna lighten or screen, I'm not sure. This is too light, so I'm just gonna put it behind her. The main thing is just putting a bunch of overlays, to be honest. I think this one's cute, so I'm gonna put it there. Green, that's pretty cute, but something's off, so I'm just gonna figure out what that is. Okay, I'm just gonna do it like that. I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna set it to darken and now I'm gonna select the PNG and I'm gonna right click on it and then go to blending options and I'm gonna put bevel and emboss on and I'm gonna mess with that and put more depth and I'm gonna change the color of it I think I'm just gonna do what the lighting color is and then I'm gonna make the size hmm, like that and soften it and I'm gonna mess with the angle I think I like that one the most and I'm gonna put a stroke and I'm just gonna choose a random color from the composition and size it. I think that's too, like, you can't see it, so I'm just gonna do that. Or actually, I'm just gonna do a gradient, and then I'm gonna do the lighting color, and the lighting's coming from there, so I'm just gonna turn down the opacity a little bit, and then I'm gonna do inner glow, and I'm gonna spread it a lot, size it a lot, and I'm gonna do the same thing, do the same color, and then mess around with the opacity to see what looks better i think this looks good and then i'm gonna go back to adjustments and mess with the levels i think that looks good and i need a few more overlays you can never have enough i want sparkles <laughs> i'm gonna do lighten and i'm going to change how the light reflects i think that looks good and then i'm gonna create a new layer above this and i'm going to do the draw the brush and then I'm gonna change the brush to this long one right there. I think that's a good size. And I'm gonna use white. And this is the white light source, so I'm just gonna put it here. Now I'm gonna go to filter, blur, Gaston blur. <laughs> and then just put it to my liking. Now there's a highlight right there, and then I'm gonna do a highlight for that. So I'm gonna do the same thing, blur like that and then lower the opacity a little bit. Now I'm going to draw a shadow. So I'm gonna take the background color and just move it this way to make it darker and make sure it's below this layer. And then I'm just gonna draw behind her. Looks a little dumb, so. And then boom, we got some shadows. Um, I might add a blur to it. I don't know how good it would look. Okay. Just gonna add a simple blur and then for the text i'm gonna put it underneath some overlays and plop down the text here i'm gonna need to find her youtube channel to put her username g ruby roblox i'm gonna copy that go back to photo p paste it and i'm gonna select the whole thing and then make the size bigger and find a font i'm gonna use this basic font i see all the time and i'm going to go to blending options gradient overlay Stroke, bevel emboss, and inner glow. 
Now that already looks really good, so I might not, I might not even change anything, but I'm gonna go to free transform, make it bigger, and then I'm gonna select this again and then go to warp, and I'm gonna make it an arch and bend it a little bit, and then I'm gonna duplicate this layer and then move it around a little bit so it looks less transparent and you can see it. Her username's pretty big, so it kind of looks awkward. So I'm gonna click on the first layer and then merge down, and then I'm gonna free transform see what looks best and i might just make another layer and then put a background right there and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go back to this and go to wait no it took away my blending options well i'm gonna go to this blending options and then i'm gonna say define new so now i have a style and now i can put this on my drawing layer for the background and now it looks 3d and I'll change the opacity a little bit so you can still see. And boom, I just made an icon. I'm gonna go export PNG, save it, and boom, you made your first GFX icon. It looks great. I know this isn't available for everybody though. There's a lot of mobile Roblox YouTubers or people who just want a GFX that can't do it. So make sure to hit me up because I am selling GFX commissions. They are always in the link in the description and I have very reasonable prices and I am very good at it. As you can see, here's my website for GFX commissions. I would love it if you guys supported me. That would mean the world to me. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and not confusing, but I know Blender is literally like so confusing and makes me frustrated all the time. But just take your time, practice, and I'm sure you'll just naturally get used to it and be an awesome GFX artist. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you have a wonderful day and I love you. Goodbye. <laughs>